Welcome back to Indonesia Highlights. The Nyepi holiday may be over, but a phenomenon that has developed in Bali ahead of the day of silence in recent years is the sales of mini ogo ogo targeting children. Based on the larger papier-mâché effigies that are paraded and burned on the eve of Nyepi, an innovative craftsman has been producing mini versions of the ogo ogo for children to enjoy. The large effigies depicting mostly scary figures symbolizing evil are an important part of the rituals surrounding the Balinese Hindu Nyepi holiday. These representations are paraded around the eve of the holiday before they're set alight at the end of the parade. Banking on the fascination for the Ogo Ogo among adults and children alike, innovative craftsmen have begun to produce miniature versions of the effigies, especially for a younger market. Instead of the bamboo frame and the papier-mâché used to make the larger Ogo Ogo, the miniature version is made from styrofoam. Buddha Yuda, a craftsman, is usually swamped with orders in the run-up to Nyepi. But along with two colleagues, he makes at least three miniature effigies a day. Besides the standard scary figures that usually dominate the representations of evil, these enterprising men have also fashioned cartoon characters that are quite popular with children. Model toko kartun untuk kalau sama apa ya banyak lah kayak model Ganesha toko kartun terutama anak-anak kecil. Seperti anak saya ni pak dia tu minat benar ni, karena untuk gogo itu kan harus harus lebih apa di Bali itu harus lebih di di apa ditingkatkan lagi lah. The price of the miniature Ogo Ogo can vary from 200,000 rupiah to 3.5 million rupiah, depending on the size and the degree of difficulty in making them.